www.banksupermart.com So I want to start with your outlook. Where do you see European equities going for 2013? Well, I think really when you talk about the outlook for 2013, I think you can sort of divide it into two different outlooks. You can think about the outlook for the macro economy in Europe, and then you can think about the outlook for kind of making money in European shares. And I would say that in, in terms of the macroeconomic outlook, I think what we're looking for in 2013 is for things still to be characterized by uncertainty and negative headlines. And that's why, because the politicians are still pursuing a strategy very much of imposing austerity on already weak economies. And so that in itself, from my perspective at least, is not really the way to getting these economies going again. I mean, if anything, it's going to lead to more social instability and more pressure to, for, for the politicians to change their tack. Um, but when you think about making money in European shares, I mean, many of the businesses that we have in Europe are broadly based businesses, industry winners with exposure across the market, often in very kind of high value added areas of the market. And we see those continuing to you know, add value and grow going forward. So whilst I think the headlines from a macroeconomic perspective are likely to be negative, I think stock pickers can make money in 2013 just as they did in 2012. Okay, so while macro looks kind of negative, is there any silver lining in this at all? Any positive drivers that could perhaps uh, serve as a catalyst for a sustained European market recovery? Well, I think, again, if you come back to looking at the companies in the corporate sector, I mean, what you have in those, in those businesses are companies that have been able to be managed profitably in the face of having uncompetitive labour markets, expensive labour markets, and a very kind of expensive currency. And as a euro crisis has, has rolled on and, and, and will roll on, you'll get more pressure on both of those. So the, the currencies will come, will come down in price in relative terms, and also uh, the labour markets will get more and more competitive, so real wage costs will come down. So that I think will be a, a real tailwind for, for European businesses. I think that another real opportunity which is not really being focused on at the moment is Russia's joining the WTO. And when China joined the WTO in 2001, again, there was not a lot of focus on it at the time. But looking back after sort of, you know, China's membership for, 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 you know, for a decade, it really was a benefit to all of the Asian regional countries because, they, you know, China wanted to bring its cities and its infrastructure up to a modern level. And if Russia decides to do the same, that will be a real tailwind for European economies and something that I guess is not really being focused on at the moment. Okay, what about the flip side? What are some of the risks? I mean, the most specific one being the potential exit of the Greek economy. Uh, what are some of the other risks that uh, investors need to be aware of? Well, I think the risks, I mean, when you, when you talk about Greece, I think the risks that Greece characterizes are the risks that are, are evident throughout Europe. And that's the risk that the strategy of imposing austerity on these economies is going to lead to them becoming better creditor nations. And what we've seen is that, that austerity not only impacting Greece, but also impacting places like Italy and France and, and, uh, and, and Spain. And so I think that until economies really, or, 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 the, or the politicians really start to look at alternative strategies for um, managing those economies, i.e. driving competitiveness, and if anything, reducing taxes rather than raising taxes, I don't think that their, their position as creditor nations is going to improve. So that, I would say, is the risk. But, you know, again, what I would emphasize is that's the headline risk that will create the uncertainty and volatility. I think the experience of the corporate sector will be very different. All right. So looking across the European market, what are some of the best opportunities you see emerging right now? Well, I think first of all, I'd look at sort of, you know, geographically broadly spread businesses, businesses that have operations, you know, throughout the world. And we've seen a number of, com you know, companies that have almost greater exposure to uh, places like Asia or the Middle East or, or the US than they have to Europe themselves. So they give you a very good opportunity to, to benefit from um, growth elsewhere in the world. But to the extent that you look at sort of domestic companies, what you want to look for is companies that are, have a very, very strong competitive position. Because in a weak demand environment, you get an acceleration of market share gains and losses. So the strong get stronger and the weak get weaker. And we've seen that in companies like Inditex, which owns Zara in Spain. So while the consumer environment has been difficult in Spain, Zara has continued to gain market share. 
I think intellectual property based companies are also a very good place to invest. I think many, company, many companies, many economies in the world are looking to improve innovation, improve productivity and intellectual property is something that's built up over decades and that's something that's very very hard to replicate and very attractive and I think that intellectually, intellectual property based companies will have good returns for many many years to come. I think that the last area I would, I would focus on with respect to Europe is brands. Again, I think brands are built up over many years and Europe can boast some of the f most fantastic brands in autos, luxury goods and retailing. And I think, again, these are very exclusive opportunities. Okay, Paris, thank you for your answers. You're welcome.